Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss and in this video we are going to be continuing our series on pointers in the C programming language. In the last video I introduced you to what pointers are and we walked through a very simple program to illustrate what a pointer actually is. But I didn't really cover where you would use pointers so in this video we're going to expand our example a little bit further and I'm going to show you where you would most commonly use and implement pointers. And I think that this example will also solidify your understanding of what pointers are. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at another program to see how pointers are actually used. In this C program, we have three functions. And the first function that we'll walk through is the main function. And part of it actually looks pretty similar to the, the uh, previous program that we walked through. We start off by initializing an integer variable x to the value 10. Then we initialize an integer pointer variable, PTR, and set that to the memory location of x. After we initialize the pointer variable, we then print the memory address of x inside of the main function using the uh, ampersand x. And then we call a function called passByValue, and we directly pass in integer x into that function. After that, we print the value of x inside of the main function uh, following the call to passByValue. And again, we just uh, this time we just pass in x by itself so we can see the value of x printed out to the screen. And then we call pass by ref or pass by reference and we pass in the pointer variable to this function. And following this, the execution of this function, then we print out the value of x in the main function uh, after pass by reference has been called. And again, we pass in just uh, x by itself. So what are these two functions that the main function is calling? Well, the first one, let's walk through that one, uh, pass by value. Pass by value uh, doesn't return anything, and it takes as input an integer x. And it increments integer x by 1, and then prints the value of x. And after that, it prints the memory address of x inside of pass by value. And it uses ampersand x to, to do that. So your expectation when this function is called might be that uh, this variable x is its value changed to is changed to 11. So since we increment uh, x by 1 and we're passing in x to this function, you might expect that this x ends up being incremented by 1 and so x would equal 11. But the behavior of the C programming language is uh, is what's known as call by value, which means that when you pass arguments into a function and you invoke a function and pass some arguments into that function, the default behavior is that the value of those arguments is copied into the function. And when you modify those copies, you're modify you're not modifying the the arguments themselves that were passed in. So in this case, we're not actually modifying, when we do x plus uh, equals 1, we're not modifying this variable. We're actually modifying a variable that was initialized when we invoked this function, and it's totally separate. So even though when we print uh, the value of x inside of pass by value, we'll get 11, um, when we print the memory address of x inside of pass by value, I would expect that this memory address be different from the memory address of x printed inside of the main function. And that's because when we call this function, the pass by uh, value behavior will initialize a separate variable, integer x uh, variable, and we'll be modifying that, that copy with the value 10. We won't be modifying this uh, integer x um, variable in the main function. And you might ask, well, why, why is that the behavior of the C programming language? Why not modify the argument that I pass into the function? And there's use cases for, uh, for simply taking a copy of the values for a function. For instance, if your function just computed a value based off of several inputs, let's say it was a, um, a sum function. So it took two numbers and uh, summed those two numbers together and returned the summed value then you don't necessarily need to modify the variables that you're passing in. You're just taking those values, compute, uh, computing a new value based off of the two values that were passed in, and returning that computed value. So there's use cases for, for just pass by value. But 
There's also use cases where you would like the variable that you passed in to be modified. And in those cases, we need to use pointers. So now that we understand what pass by value means, let's take a look at the pass by ref function or the pass by reference function. The pass by reference function uh, returns nothing, but it takes as input an integer pointer x. And similar to the pass by value function, it modifies x by incre and it increments it by one. But notice that when it increments it by one, this asterisk preceding x, so it's dereferencing the pointer that was passed in, which means that it's accessing the value of the variable that this pointer is pointing to. In this case, it's uh, pointing to x in the main function, and it's accessing this value and incrementing that value. So the expectation when uh, this print statement prints out to the screen is that the value of x inside of pass by reference should be 11. And then when we print out the memory address of x inside of pass by ref, I would expect the memory address of x to be equal to the memory address printed out to the screen in the main function as well. And that's because in pass by reference, we're passing in a pointer variable to x. We're not initializing a separate uh, integer x and incrementing the value of that, uh, that copy of x. We are incrementing the, the variable x inside of the main function. So now that we've walked through the program, let's open up the terminal and I'm going to compile and run this program. Okay. So the first print statement to the screen is the memory address of x inside of the main function. And it ends in DECC. The next print statement is the value of x inside of the pass by value function. So we've called pass by value at this point and the first print statement, and we've incremented the uh, x inside of the pass by value function. And that value is now 11, okay? And the memory address of x inside of pass by value is this memory address. But notice, even though these, uh, they, they're pretty similar. Look at the uh, last three uh, characters in the memory address. This is a separate memory address than uh, the variable x inside of the main function. So we modified a different variable uh, in the pass by value function. We incremented a different variable. We didn't uh, modify this variable x. And after uh, the pass by value function completes, we then print the value of x inside of the main function. So we print the value of x inside of main function after pass by value is called. And notice that the value of x inside of the main function is still 10. So this is evident, more evidence that um, when we incremented x inside of pass by value, it didn't modify the x that we provided as input when we called uh, pass by value. And then we print the memory address of x inside of pass by ref and notice that the memory address matches the original memory address that we printed up uh, at the top inside of the main function. So it, they both end in uh, DECC, okay? So here we know that the x that we modified inside of pass by ref is in fact the variable x uh, that is inside of the main function. And finally, to prove that that is the case, we print out the value of x inside of the main function after calling pass by ref, and you'll see that the value has been incremented by one, and the, the new value of x is 11. I hope this simple example helped you better understand why and where pointers are used in the C programming language. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them below in the comments. And if you like this video and this series, please consider throwing a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.